Hey guys, um, Brian here, uh, and I wanna. I'm gonna do a quick video on how to use the MSI OCG OC Genie two motherboards like the 990 FXA GD80, which is the board that I currently have. Um, it's really, really easy to use. Um, I'm gonna keep this as simple as possible. Basically, you shut the computer off, you hit the OCG, OC Genie button that's uh, to the left of the board, depending on how you have it installed in your case. Most of it should have the board, the buttons on the board that'll be, they'll be on the very bottom of it. Uh, it should be power button, reset button, OCG, OC, OCG, OC Genie. God, that's, why is it so hard for me to say? OC Genie button will be and that the order of that would be from right to left um I'll, I'll give you uh the numbers that i got off my board i have the amd phenom 2 965 um it is stock clock at 3.4 after overclocking the board with the one button all i did was push the button that was it the computer started opened up the application that I was using at the time to stress the uh, CPU and I got 3.825 uh, out of it with just one push of the button also the RAM was overclocked in that same one push of the button uh, I have 10 gigs of RAM I have one four stick of 1600 DDR3 and one stick of or three sticks at two gig uh, 1333 um, if you guys don't know uh, obviously uh, yes you can run different uh, speeds of RAM on the same board but you're only without overclocking it you're only gonna get uh, the, the, the uh, slowest RAM speed so you won't get anything out of the 1600 other than like if you're like me and that's your biggest stick um, you're gonna get just more RAM uh, but if you overclock it, they overclock evenly. They overclock evenly, very stable. Um, I love this board. I love how easy it is to just push one button. Actually, love is a strong word, so I'll rephrase it. I really appreciate just having to push one button because if you're like me and you're an overclocking dummy and having a freaking clue how to do it, buy these boards. You push the button one time, you get way more performance for your money. And uh, I'll, I can attest to you that I didn't see any any heat increases on either the RAM or the CPU. Um, the fan speed went up a little bit to keep the uh, temperatures stable on uh, the on the CPU. Uh, I have a stock CPU cooler that it came with in the box, and. I'm real happy with it. I'll, I'll here. Let me. Uh, I'll show you my. Show you my system. There's my system. Hey, let me turn the light off. Looks pretty cool. At least I think it does. Anyways, you know, I'm not a big, big computer guy, but I do like nice stuff, and that was just one thing that I thought was pretty cool. There's my little EVGA thing, because even though it is an AMD motherboard. I do really enjoy NVIDIA uh, video cards. I do think that you get now with now, not before, but now with the 500 series cards, uh, the price to performance ratio is actually better than um, the ATI cards. Not by much, and I'm not a you know I'm not a big NVIDIA fanboy. Prior to this, prior to the. Uh, GTX 570, which is what I have in there right now. Um, I'll show it to you guys. There's the, that's the card. And there's my stock cooler that I was telling you guys about. Um, I don't know if you can get a good shot at that. I'm doing my best here. Just bear with me. Okay, so anyways, back to uh, what we were saying. Okay, now the numbers that you see next left of the flashing red light on your screen Mine currently says 48. I'm not sure if you can read that or not, but that is a code, and it tells you uh, if anything is wrong with the motherboard. And I'm believe I believe you can go to the MSI uh, website, enter that code in, 
and it'll tell you if there's any errors or anything. Um, okay, so the OCG button, OCG, OC Genie button, uh, all the way to the left is the big blue one. Basically, uh, you can just you just turn your computer completely off. You hit the OCG button, OC Genie button. Your computer will start, and during the process of the start, if you're watching the screen, it will give you a message stating that OCG, OC Genie button or OC Genie has been enabled and don't screw with the computer. Your computer will start on normally. You won't get any messages that your system has been overclocked. Download uh, software like CPU-Z. You can get that from Tech uh, Tech Up or whatever it is, and GPU-Z. Um, and the CPU-Z is enough. That's all you need actually for the overclocking with your mother, because your motherboard will not uh, you it will not increase. Uh, the 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 clocks on your GPU only your RAM and your CPU, and that's the conclusion of this video. I'll do another quick video on how to overclock the 570 and what my clock numbers are, and they're stable. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Leave comments. If you have any questions, concerns? Don't you know? Don't 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 hesitate to to let me know what your concerns might be. Um, I'll get the message eventually and get back to you in, in as quickly as I can to try to help you out with whatever you got with your MSI motherboard. All right, have a good day. Oh, and by the way, I give this about a, I personally give this motherboard for overclocking dummies five stars out of five. Super easy, very stable, brainless effort to get your board overclocked. Have a good day, guys.